Hey guys, welcome back to another trekking video. Right now, I am in Fresno. I am at my house. We just got a load going to Houston, Texas. I got like five pickups here in the surrounding areas. Um, I have been off for five days, guys. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get back into trekking because after a while, you know, you, you like recharge, get that energy. I'm, I'm ready to get back on the road, basically. So here I am in the truck. Let's check everything. I already did my pre-trip. Um, now I just gotta check if my trailer is like stuck on my truck, cause I don't want to pull off. You know, cause it caiga. So let's check real quick. I didn't turn on my reefer. Let's just turn it on. This is good. Yup, it's good. But we always gotta go under here to see if it's actually connected, which it is. Now let me just make sure my doors are actually closed because I seen some truck drivers that they forget to close their doors. And I park here so you never know people might try to open my doors. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna leave that open. I'm going to this company and I'm only picking up one pallet. So I'm trying to see what's gonna happen because I got five pickups and I got a lot to do today. So, let's just head out there. Actually guys, I just called the company and they told me to call back at 12 and it's an hour drive. Um, I'm a, I think I'm gonna go to uh, McDonald's real quick before I head out there because it is gonna be a drive. So, let me get my keys. McDonald's is around the block like five minutes. So I'm gonna go in my personal car and get like two McChickens so that, because today guys, look, let me tell you guys, I think today I am gonna have to wait like pretty much the whole day. And I don't know if I'm gonna come back to Fresno um, because I'm gonna miss one appointment. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to sleep at a truck stop or on the side of the road to get my next appointment tomorrow morning, early in the morning. I don't know, I don't know, there's just so much going on with this load. So, let's just go to McDonald's real quick. Let me tell you guys about my, my weekend that I did here. Um, oh! So I have my GPS on. Anyways, let me turn it off. Anyways, guys, um, I went with my friends. I hung out with my girlfriend. Basically, that's what I do every time on my 34-hour reset. You know, I had a good time. But it's time to get back on the road, make this money. This is the only bad thing about trucking. When I leave, it's like a bittersweet moment. But. I chose this career, so I got to deal with it. Trekking is a great job, though. Don't get me wrong. You'll love it. You just got to get used to it. I didn't want to cook um, some noodles today, guys, because sometimes I hurt my stomach. Like, yeah, I like to do it for the videos, guys. But man, those those noodles, let me tell you guys. Whoa, man, they be having you in the restroom. And I recently just bought a portable toilet. Oh my God, I forgot to get the cat litter because I seen uh, Alex Nino, he puts a uh, cat litter inside his, um inside this portable toilet. I have not used it yet, guys, because I don't know, I don't know. I'm waiting for that emergency time, you know? And then I'll use it. But yes, I'm gonna get two McChickens real quick and head out. I'm gonna call the company right now. It's uh, 11.32, told me to call back at 12. But my dispatcher told me to be there at 12, so, uh, tracking problems. Hello. 
Welcome to McDonald's. Are you using the mobile app today? Uh, no. Go ahead. Can I just get two McChickens, please? Okay. That'll be it. It's gonna be the first one, though. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. That's for later. So I just got off the phone with them guys and they told me they're gonna go on break right now at 12, so I got them at a good time. They told me they only, it's almost ready, by the time I get there, it's ready. They're just gonna be on break. So I'm already heading there. I got about like 40 more minutes until I'm there. We're going to Clint and Ivanhoe, which is like an hour away. So hopefully it don't take too long because I have an appointment in Dinuba at five. Oh my God, look at my, I forgot to throw away my paper and it's just swinging by the window. No. I clean my windows, but man, they get dirty so quick. We just got to the company. Let's see. Going right. the regeneration that's good let's go check it After a couple hours of waiting, they finally gave me a door. They gave me door three. So, let's back in. And then we gotta go to Dainuba for the other pickup. I'm almost about to miss my appointments. We got it, we got it. Just real quick. Just 
called Fresh Select. to the company I'm gonna pump some fuel real quick not really low but I gotta stop in Delano wonderful citrus and then I gotta go to Bakersfield and then I start my driving but let's stop right here at Alcal truck stop so we can get some Punjabi food some chicken curry right here and some dev Working. A lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna order some food. Okay. And then I'm gonna head out. Butter chicken? Uh, I'll do the. I'm gonna switch it up this time. I'll do the chicken curry mm -hmm. and then garlic naan mm -hmm. with um, the side of uh, salad. Okay. And then I'll be back right now. Let me pay first. Gotta go to Bakersfield. And then I'm going to Houston. Houston? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. See if it's ready. Got the truck back there. Look at that view though. Tell me I have an hour to get there, so let's check in and get there real quick and then I'ma eat. Guys, I'm only picking up half a pallet, not even one full pallet. See with reefer guys, if you're in the trucking industry and you know about reefers, reefers they pay well, but the timing and everything, 
you have a lot of pickups um, I would say reefer is uh, the to get unloaded or unloaded takes super long but the pay is what makes it worth it in this economy I'm not sure about that but you know it pays well just I don't know about in this economy as of right now that we are in 2024 okay, so I'm finally leaving my house Fresno this is a no turnaround back I might be gone for at least two to three weeks so it's a little bittersweet moment for sure now I finally hit I'm leaving my friends and my family and it's just me alone now no one else just me and my semi truck so we're finally going anyways let's get to work you gotta motivate myself uh, and if you're a truck driver follow me on Instagram trucking depth on all my social media guys if you're from the Central Valley you you have seen that before that's what where we're gonna go load right now guys at Halos look at the little mods I did on the side oh my god I'm in love with my semi next thing is the LED lights that are gonna go inside it's gonna take time because I just did a big waste but it's gonna be worth it
forget I have my guitar up here. And I gotta put it down because if it falls, it breaks. I'm gonna just drive to the company, fall asleep near the company. Um, probably just wait for my dispatcher to make my appointments for tomorrow morning. I have two more pickups, which I didn't think I was gonna finish today. And I did a pretty good job. So, let's go get weighed real quick by the company. I didn't put on my seal, because I'm gonna wait for them. But um, yeah, let's head out. I'm gonna finish the video off here, guys. After my next clip, I'll continue recording tomorrow. I wanted to do a video. Oh, look, they gave me free oranges. I want to do a video of just eating uh, only truck stop food for 24 hours. But I don't know because truck stop food is pretty nasty. Although I don't really eat that, but I try to. I'm on the scale right now. This is a new update I did on my semi. They gave me the wrong lights though. So now I gotta go back to the truck stop. Go back to the truck stop. And give me some lights again. But I'm gonna end the video off here guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have you made it all the way to the end? I appreciate everybody. Make sure to subscribe.